How you guys doing? It's uh, Saturday afternoon and it's beginning to snow. It's a little bit soggy out here. You folks may remember we had just done a full replacement for um, this gentleman's neighbor. In the process, we had inspected this roof. This roof is going to be fully replaced within the next few weeks. Uh, we came out today just to clean out the gutters. You'll notice that there is a lot of pine in behind, uh, you know, behind these homes. For anybody who has gone through the process of having their gutters cleaned several times or purchasing gutter guards, folks who live under or close by to pine know that they have a much bigger problem than folks with just regular leaves. So as things go, I went to our uh, 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 workshop today to find a blower and they're all on trucks. So uh, I got stuck having to go and buy a blower, but it was a good opportunity for me to just do a quick review of the Husk Varna 125B blower. It's a 28cc two cycle engine blower. And most roofers will recognize this one because you see this on a lot of roofing job sites. And I'll let you guys know, yesterday I talked about the stapler when reviewing the Bostitch heavy duty um, standard stapler same thing goes with this the reason you see this orange guy on so many roofing projects is just because it works and uh, it works and it lasts a very long time if you take care of the engine and keep the fluids properly in check you won't have any problems with it so let me show you what comes in the box you essentially have these three components that make up the uh, wand or the arm you can fasten it in there's a little hook Right, and you just essentially unscrew this with a flathead screwdriver, put it in, tighten it up, and you're ready to go. Um, inside the box, it will give you a container to mix two and a half gallons of gasoline. I didn't realize that was in the box, so we had just bought two of those, and we bought a five gallon gas tank. We filled uh, the gas tank, two and a half gallons, put in both containers, filled the other two and a half gallons. And when you fill it up, very simply, you move the choke all the way over to the full throttle position. Uh, but just prior to doing that, you want to pump this gas 10 times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick it over to full throttle and then essentially just pull it. When you pull it, it'll start right up. When it starts right up, you move the throttle to about midway, and then everything is handled here by the trigger. Um, and then you would push the uh, kill switch here if you wanted to shut it off. Um, again, gassed it up, put it together in five minutes, gassed it up, and had no problems. Now, let me show you guys something I was talking about with the pine. Keep in mind, we're going to be replacing this roof for this homeowner, and... When it comes to gutters, not sure whether or not we'll be putting in new gutters, but gutter guards would definitely be a discussion worth having, again, because of the circumstance um, with pine. So let's just see if we can get in the backyard here. Uh, looks like we can. So just to show you some instances where we have blown down huge chunks <coughs> excuse me and this is what actually comes out if you can see this is like perfectly conducive in the summertime anything that blows in here will um, germinate and begin to seed you'll actually have quite a garden going there in the gutters and I just want to show you those big chunks because that is consistent you will find loafs of that that stretch you know five to ten feet long so just completely clogging the gutters Again, making it impossible um, for water to make its way towards the downspouts. And therefore, it's just pulling in the gutter until it defeats the gutter and overflows. It's never making it to the downspout. So just very quickly, to go up on this roof, you'll see the remnants of the roof chalked out from the adjuster meeting um, just the other day. There were over 39 failed shingles on this roof. And then we have a big, huge problem here. As you can see, we have exposed beams. So we haven't even begun the supplementing process, but during the supplementing process, we'll make sure we get this straightened out. But just to show you guys now, here are the gutters 
right? When completely cleaned out. You can see they're a little muddy and dirty. However, you know, throughout the length of the perimeter, top side here on the main, and then also if you look down here over the garage as well, it's all been cleared out throughout the entirety of the property. Now, as mentioned, when we do this roof replacement, this would be a roof that we would look into adding gutter guards. In fact, that's a discussion we're already having with the neighbor. As you can see, we put on a full, um, fully dimensional certainty Landmark Pro. I believe that is the max definition charcoal black, the darkest shingle available for the neighbor. So coming very soon, full replacement next door. Um, in the meantime, they can rest assured with the rain this weekend and any other rain that we get from now until then that their gutters have been entirely cleaned out throughout the um, entire perimeter of the home. All roof planes clear. You can see the downspouts are now completely cleared and water will be able to easily travel down those holes into the downspouts. So, we'll check back here in a couple weeks. Hopefully we'll be putting shingles on. We'll be throwing this roof in a dumpster and putting shingles on. For now, uh, gutters are clear and uh, signing off on a Saturday, it's Anthony with Signature Roofing.